How's it going guys? Second episode of Pokemits, and I was just going to talk more about Pokemon Sword and Shield. Now, yeah. <laughs> um, basically I was just going to talk about the starters. We've got Grookey, which is the grass type. I'm not sure what he's going to turn into. Uh, we got Scorbunny, we got the fire type. And we got Sobel? Sobel? Right? I'm not sure how you're supposed to pronounce that, but they look pretty good. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, um, I like how they look. Um, I think Grookey, he might be a fighting type, maybe. I don't know, he's got the stick. He could do something with that. Maybe it'll be like a grass fighting or grass psychic. Maybe it'll turn into like a wand or something like they did with Finnegan in X and Y. That was pretty cool. Uh, score bunny they have it set up really easy to be another firefighting like he's a bunny and he's fast and stuff like that so i can see that being fighting really easy i hope they don't but with you know at first glance it would be easy to do that but you know his his evolution could steer clear of that and we got the water type sobel i don't know that sounds like a character from band of brothers <laughs> So, uh, yeah, and I think, I don't know, same thing with him. Like, those two are, I could easily see another water ground coming out of that. He kind of looks like Mudkip. He looks like a like a Mudskipper, kind of. So, I don't know. I'm not going to have too many theories on what it is, except for I think Grookey, Grokey, I don't know. I, I'm going to make prediction grass fighting. That's what it seems like. Maybe he's going to be like a monk and he's going to get the stick and it's going to be like a staff or something. So I think that would be really cool to see. And I did see some more of the new region. Well, not so much more of the new region, but more of the graphics of it, the visuals. And yeah, it looks a lot better, especially on the Switch. You have actual geography to all these buildings. Uh, the one I saw, it was a village. And well, so it was like a town. But there was a couple houses on the outskirts, so when you're walking down, it's like a sloping valley, and here's the town. But, you know, you go here, and it goes up, and here's a house on a hilltop. And then it goes down, and here's up, and there's a house on the hilltop. So it's not just the plain that has all the buildings on the exact same level. And that was a different town than I saw on the previous trailer, so that's making me pretty excited. I think that's pretty cool. I have to get to get my hashtag squad shirt on. <laughs> Uh, but it was a Christmas gift my wife got for everyone. I thought it was pretty neat. <laughs> it's not like a Pokemon thing. If you... But yeah, so game's looking pretty good. There's lots of hype for it. I've already got one of them pre-ordered. I've got Shield pre-ordered. And if I come into a little bit more money by the time it released, which is uh, a long ways from now, I should be able to pick up both. Cause I, I, that's what I do. i got to play one, and then i got to play the other one. Even though it's basically the same game. <laughs> I don't know, I just, that's, yeah, I've got them all. So, like, I've got my third generation, I've got the original, I've got uh, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, and I went and I played all three of them. Y you have to, right? And if they're, I'm not sure if they're going to do a third one, they haven't done that in a minute. Like, they didn't do, like, you know, a Omega Emerald or anything like that, and X and Y, they didn't have, like, a Z so I'm wondering if they're actually going to do a third one again or if they're just going to keep it split where you have to have the two separate ones to catch them all, as it were. <laughs> so yeah, that, that's my predictions. I think it's I think it's going to be a good game overall. The mechanics uh, seems basically regular Pokemon again. Um, I saw catching Pokemon. It looked normal again. You pick a ball and you go for it. So hopefully it's not that Pokemon Go thing. So yeah, fingers crossed. <laughs> Alright, the second part is going to be basically the same thing as episode one. I did. Got another one of these. So it's the team up box set for Sun and Moon. And I'm actually kind of excited about this. So I'm actually going to do a. This could be in this video, but I'm going to do it a different way. I'm going to set my camera up looking down so that way while I'm pulling up the cards, you guys can have a straight down shot. And hopefully it's not going to be glaring. So. All right, you'll see me in like 30 seconds. All right. So let's see. 
Cool. Get it over here. Not much of a glare. So what's the team up box set? It's the build and battle. I'm actually kind of excited about this one. Let's see if I can get some of this glare off of you a little bit better. Cool. So the last one I did, I was super excited about it. It was a Celestial Storm. Had a pretty decent opening. Got a little sleeve right there. Alright. So, little deck box kinda. Got our four team up beast packs. I actually haven't done a lot with this set, but I'm, what I've seen so far, I like it. We've got our, ooh, hey, here's a little how to thing. Here's some deck building tips. Now, this is cool right off the bat. So, the first card I see coming out of this pack is actually Nitto Queen. So, I have a pretty strong feeling that there's gonna be <laughs> some Nidorinas and Nidorans in there. Boom. So, first card off the bat, Nidoqueen. That's actually a really good looking card. Sorry, I'm like upside down trying to do this. Ooh, that looks really cool on the camera, the foil. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so we got the trainer. Tate Liza. Communication. Reveal a Pokemon from your hand. Put it into your deck. If you do, switch your deck for a Pokemon. Reveal it. Put it into your hand. Oh, that's really cool. And we got a Lily Trainer. We got a Switch. Oh, we got a really cool looking Farfetch. Got a Mulg. Oh, I hate a Mulg. so goddamn bad. I hate this little son of a bitch. <laughs> and it's not even this one. It's in-game. Flying and electric. Ugh. Just a pain in the ass. Alright, so we got a Blitzel. We had a few of those, and oop, Zip Striker. So that's not too bad. I like I like electric builds. Don't see a lot of them. At least I don't see a lot of them. So that's kind of cool. And we got a few more here. Yeah, we got Looker. Draw three decks. Oh, cards from the bottom. We got Cynthia. Another Pokemon Communications. I like that. Ingo and Emmett. Yeah, they're in there, I guess. <laughs> All right. Yeah, here's the Nidoran. Got Nidoran, Nidorina. That's pretty neat. Wow, and that's it. Just one of each for my Nidal Queen. Because the rest of them that I got here is I got three basic Grimers and two Muck. And that's a really neat Muck. This is, I don't know, it's not what you normally think of when you think of Muck. This one's like super oozing. And it's got the Poison Sack, so that's really cool. Toxic Secretion. Two damage instead of one on this Pokemon. So yeah, that's just a oh, that's a good toxic move. That's a good for fucking with people. <laughs> All right, let's open up booster pack number one. Maybe we can find some more Nidorinas. Nope. But got executed. That's not too bad. Arrow Seed, pretty pretty neat steel. Oh, that's a cool looking Meowth. Seems really. Fun. <laughs> Alolan Geo dude, and this is a funny card. Well, like, yeah, the clay. I always thought that was silly when they did that. Grimer. So that'd be a decent one to throw in if I needed it. Panjam. It's another one of those real life instead of the illustration. Mandibuzz. Energy card. Oh, it's a decent one. Looks kind of, well, it's different. Not your basic. War Turtle, not bad. Ooh, Tauros, that's always, that's a decent one that I would throw into the deck as I was building. See our Raging Head, attack does 10 damage for each damage counter on all of your Tauros and Tauros GX, so like, th that's a good build up. And a Persian. All right, I'm gonna open up one more. Okay, this one's not too, Terrible. That's kind of cool. It's like a CG Joltik. Pretty neat. Ooh, Blitzel. Again, another one that I could throw in. Wouldn't be bad to have an extra, you know, basic Paris. Oh, Volby. So I already have the evolution of him on the other one. So that's not too bad. Ooh, okay. So not this one. This is Pidgey. <laughs> Just basic. Good art, though. I do like the style. Now, this one's not too bad. Got ourselves a. 
Diamond Star Shaman. Flower Storm. This attack does 30 damage times the amount of basic energy attached to all of your Pokemon. Jeez. Man. That ain't bad. That is not bad. Build him up in the back and just kind of set him forward and F him up. Ooh. And Erica's Hospitality. So, eh, like it'd be cool to have her in a grass one, but not necessarily have to. Oh, here's a cool illustration of a Hitmonlee. Kind of a different art style. It looks really cool. Uh, got a energy. Metal Goggles. This metal Pokemon that this card is attached takes 30 less damage from your opponent's attacks. After applying weakness and resistance, and your opponent's attacks and abilities can't put damage counters on it. Oh. Pretty neat. And a gold duck. Nothing special. But that Shaman, that's actually not half bad. So it wouldn't really fit in this pre-made that they give you. But so this one is this is actually not half bad if you wanted to do, do this one. As long as you could pull those switches, or not the switches, the Pokemon communications. To try and get your Nidorinas and stuff, because the Snidoqueen's Queen's not bad. Queen's call. Says is once during your turn before you attack, you may search your deck for a Pokemon that isn't a Pokemon GX, Pokemon EX. Reveal it to put it in your hand, then shuffle your deck. So that's really not bad, being able to search. That's really not bad. But you know, I said, not 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 as it stands right now, but I have a couple Nidorans, Nidorinos to throw in there, and that would actually be a a pretty pretty bomb build for this Nido Queen, anyways. So that's gonna be it for this one, guys. So remember, have fun out there.